Okay, we're going to go ahead and replace this uh, power window motor in this 35th anniversary Camaro here. Let's get started. We're going to get this old motor out of here and recycle it. Okay, I have my assortment of screwdrivers. It takes a slightly larger one, does the best job on these larger screws here to hold the door part. We'll try not to lose any of them. Here's another problem we run into sometimes right here is that this has been broken out. We'll get this out of here and then we'll deal with it. And then this also has been monkeyed with by probably by stereo guys or somebody. This is common here. You have to carefully get in here and try to release the spring and get it out of there. If you if you crack or break it, it'll be loose when it goes in there. Okay. There's that. We'll unhook these. Okay, there's three of the large screws which I use the larger screwdriver. There it goes. And, okay, we want to make sure we don't want to lose these. All three of them need to go back in to provide the rigidity here. You can see this one's going to come off here without even taking a screw out because it got broke out before. Okay. Okay, so we've unplugged these two and then we just unplug this. Switch comes out. And then we're going to work on getting the door panel off. Okay, now we simply just pull this out this way and off. And then we carefully maneuver this. It comes unclipped. Being nice and careful, we'll be able to take this off and swing it around and get it right off of there. And we slide it right off like that comes off. Okay, we got this out. We simply tilted it and got it around the door handle. Here's that little bulb right back here. It snapped in place. Get it out of there. Alright, so we don't want to forget this when we put it back together. There we go. Okay, let's get this out of here. Grab a, could you grab and push the window this way a little bit? And take the pressure off the top right here. These kind of slip in. There's little hooks, as I recall, that the slips into here. This is these little clips right here. They just clip right down in. So everything has to come up. All right, we'll set this aside. Okay, now let's get into the nitty gritty of Diana's Camaro here. I'm gonna peel this sticky stuff off, and we're gonna just gonna try to lay it aside. And uh, then we can just stick it right back on there, should be able to. It's kind of a warm day. Uh, sometimes it's better when it's cooler, but it's summertime out here in Portland, Oregon. Actually, we're across the river, but close enough. So, we're going to get this all out of the way so that we can get at this inside of this and our next challenge is going to be to get the window in position. We'd like to get it uh, maybe halfway down for starters. We have to unbolt a few things and then we have to figure out a way to hold the window up. On Online they've got people using door stops and two by fours and table legs and different things and whatever. We'll come up with something. Just use a little ingenuity. Okay, I'm old school and I have misplaced my metric tools. 
So I'm going to see what I have here. I want to get this speaker out. Make it a little easier to do this job, I think. It's recommended, I believe. And uh, so, let's see if I can get anything to fit that. Uh, that one's not going to do it. Yeah, well, that's not working either. I'm thinking I want to remove these three bolts here. But, uh, all right, let's figure that one out. Get the speaker out of the door. Get it unhooked and set it aside. This custom speaker she had installed. Okay, I was able to use the box and 930 seconds I found laying in my tools and then to get two of them and then this third one which is encapsulated in here. Old school pliers will do the job. Whatever it takes. Didn't want to search around for metric tools. Couldn't find any. Right off the bat. So far I've done this with a couple of screwdrivers. A couple other makeshift tools here. And then we can get the speaker out of the way. Alright, see there's the custom uh, Here's the custom work's been done here. I can see the extra wiring that someone put in. Alrighty then, I'm going to pull this wiring harness loose. If I got in here, the screwdriver in the back and work this out. These things can be a bitch sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and untape this thing and get it out of the way. It's still stuck on there pretty good. Okay, now we've got these out of the way, and I'm going to go ahead and look at this nice little shot from the internet here. And she got me a sharpie. I'm going to mark the approximate areas. Don't worry about getting it exact because it's no biggie. Don't worry about drilling holes in your door. If you got a problem with that, get over it. All right, let's mark these out. Okay, I'm locating these holes by using a little flashlight, getting up there, feeling with my finger for the rivet to get the approximate location. It doesn't have to be exact, as we can work it out, but I'm taking my best shot. Right here. I think it's about like that, so there's our three. Let's see how close we get. Okay. I'll grab my handy black and decker. I'm putting the 7 16 in here to start. We're going to see how close we get on these holes. Alright. Alright, this is where some compressed air would come in handy. Uh, for us, maybe, could we get um, maybe just a, a little towel or I think there's a little rag. Um, okay, here we go. She's already got me taken care of here. We'll just fluff this off a little bit and clean it up. Try not to breathe this stuff. This is fiberglass composite material. These doors are made of fiberglass in case some of you may have wondered. I know it surprised me too. They're not made of steel like we're used to. Kind of like a Corvette. Okay, what's next? So we're going to figure out what size drill bit we want to use to drill these out. So now, can we see up inside there? My drillings were right on. I used a 7 16 drill and I got them perfect. Uh, this one maybe. Nope, I think I can get all the rivets out. So that's a start. And then the next challenge will be putting the little nuts and bolts in to hold it back in. All right, let's start drilling. And then we're going to unhook the uh, wires from the back of the motor. Looking good. They're right on. Alright, we'll clean this mess up and continue. Alright, well, if it does, see if it does, it's going to fall on my hand and, and, and cause me to have a, a small injury. Okay, we're going to try to get this last one out. 3 sixteenths. I used two smaller bits that didn't work so well. Ended up with a 3 sixteenths bit to try to drill these rivets out. I want the new motor here. 
Please. Don't you want to, don't you, oh, there's Please, some, there's uh, some, there's some rivets. What? What would what they give us? Ah, uh, new screws. They're screws. I'm going to screw it back together. That's good. They're just the right size. Don't you want to film this? So you can buy these things on the internet. I guess you can buy them at some stores too, like AutoZone or somewhere like that. They all work good. Okay. And uh, matter of fact, you know, a lot of trouble with these GM ones. So as far as paying high dollar to get another GM one, I don't know. Don't know about that. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a good sign. Very good sign, dear. Yes? All right. It's working both directions. Do I have to turn well, it on? Well, make sure it's up all the way when you... I don't know how you do it. I don't know. Does it have to be in a spot, certain position? No, I've just uh, I've made sure that this unit works. So we know this. Uh oh Something just... Uh, <clears throat> our little makeshift set up here has come loose but it's okay because we had these clamps and uh, evidently they're helping okay all right we've tested it now we have to get the screws and nuts back in that'll be the next thing a little challenging to get at but it can be done because I have done this once before and I remember so don't get discouraged at this point where's those little screws that they supplied us with brand new screws you gave it to me So, instead of scrounging up screws like I did before, we're just going to use these little tiny ones here. <sighs> Alright, so, we got in there, we drilled the holes, we used uh, uh, 7 16 we drilled the holes, and then we used a, ended up using a 3 16 to get those rivets out. They were a bit of a pain. Uh, so that's what it took after a couple smaller one uh, drill bits didn't work too well. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm going to use this old screwdriver from my uh, toolbox I keep around, but it's uh, it's actually it's a flat bladed screwdriver, and this is a Phillips head screw. But it's all the time I got this little holder and hold it in place, and maybe that'll help me guide it in to get this motor in place. So mainly what we have to do here is we have to get the motor up. I've already moved. Oh, I got to move this aside again. Get that out of there like that, and then. Let the gear slide into place. I found that I, once I get the gear in place, I need to kind of twist on it a little bit. I don't quite have it. All right, I've moved this here. It's kind of in the way. It fits in a slot right here. I've pushed it down and out of the way so I can get my motor up in here. The deal is I have to kind of eyeball. Being that I marked these holes, it makes it easier for me to see them inside here. And uh, I get them up there, try to line them up, and then get the gear to slid, slide into place here. Ah, uh, there, you can feel it slide into place. Oh, oh, check this out. See how fast that is? Yeah, see? It's speedy, speedy Gonzalez. Nice and solid. It goes right up and closes solid right here. Right right there. That's good. No leaks here. I don't think I'll be adjusting this. By the way, when you want to adjust these windows quite often, that guy right there, see the marks? You can move this guy and make that window close tighter to stop leaks. So remember that little tip. All right. Okay, so it's working. Next thing is i got to put a little dab of... Uh, my silicone sealer on the backs of each of these nuts. I'll tighten them all down tight. That'll keep them from backing out of there. And then we can start putting the door panel back on. Okay, I'm glad I found my number seven socket. Helpful in replacing these little screws and nuts. All right. All three are snug down. Grab my uh, grab my silicone 
and we'll put a dab in there. A little dab will do you. Let's get on the back side of this one. Smear it. That way that nut will never come off of there. Even if it loses its torque, it'll stay up in there. Okay, my number seven is coming in handy again for putting the speaker back in. Not too tight. Yeah, just about right. Not too tight. Don't want to strip the things because we don't want the thing to be loose and start vibrating and have a shitty sound to it. I suppose we should test to make sure the speaker works before I go any further. Okay. Good thing we tested this because this, in my haste, I did not hook the speaker back up properly. That would have been a bummer to discover that later. So remember that, tubers. Yeah, now first though, what we want to do, now with the window up, let's try it. I want to get the window track into place, so we kind of push it into place on the top. Well, you got to do the bottom first, Tim. Nope. This has to be hooked. If you do the bottom first and don't get this, you got to start over. Wait, it's not open. Get it lined up to where you're holding. You got it lined up on your side? I think there. Let me try to get this in. Yeah, like that. You let it click in. Mm -hmm. right, so. oh, Watch your fingernails, dear. But it's showing like it was farther this way. Oh, that's well, this, the clips will, will line it up for us. If they go in, it's right. And they look like... Okay, but you can't... You've got all your wires behind there. Oh, let's not do that. Thank you. We have something cold to drink? Sure. What do you want? Rum punch? Yeah. That's a, that sounds like a good thing okay. for to so signify that. All right. Where are we at here? Let's, let's uh, get this put on. And uh, all right. Well, we took it nice and slow. And we went and searched for parts and components and pieces. It took us less than three hours. If you're in a real hurry and you're good at it, you can do it in two, I'm sure, or even less. I'm sure somebody will. Leave a comment. Let me know how quick you did the job, how fast it was, and what problems you had, or tips or tactics, because that's what this is all about. Uh, I did a tranny in my driveway a while back. I was amazed at how many people, how many hits and how many comments, how many people were happy. So all this is to, is to help you get this job done by using everything that's available already on the internet just a little bit of video is all okay while she's in there I'm putting another piece of this red tape on here to make it tighter she's in there making a cold drink I just want this to be nicer that's all we had to do this because it was broke out and we'll come up with something better but we want this whole door panel to be tight so her brand new speakers don't rattle the thing. Okay. Okay. You should have accomplished. Done. Great job. 